If I think of Didion Food, I remember the episode of the band where he made some young musicians want to be artists walk all the way from Manhattan to Brooklyn to get him a slice of Junior's cheesecake. Now I really want some cheesecake. Sean Diddy Combs is charged with 25 to life in prison on several counts. This man is fucked really badly. They just turned down his $50 million bail. The government turned down his offer of $50 million to free him, saying, We don't trust you. You'll run away. Sean Diddy Combs wants to be a rich and famous music mogul, but now he has to deal with the harsh reality of life in prison. Diddy is being held at the notorious Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn on major federal charges such as sex trafficking, racketeering, and conspiracy. Things are only going to get worse for him. From his once glamorous life to the harsh conditions of jail, the change has been stark and hard, and he is still fighting to adjust. It had a more traditional and formal style when the records were made, but it looked like it had been redecorated when the rapper bought it. There is a kitchen with green walls, a game room, and a wine cellar for drinks. There are also 11 luxury bathrooms, a library with wooden bookcases, and eight cozy suites. The mansion's lot is 1.3 acres and has wooded grounds, a casual dining area, tennis courts, and a resort-style pool with an underwater tunnel. Several news sources say that Dinny paid an incredible $39 million for this house in 2014. Cars. Some people know Diddy for having a pretty fancy collection of cars because he loves them so much. Among other things, the cars below have already been through his shed. This is a rough 4X4 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited that costs $35,000. It's perfect for longer trips. A $75,000 Cadillac Escalade that he destroyed in a car crash. A rare Chevrolet Corvette worth $100,000. A Ferrari worth $110,000. When Diddy was arrested in late 2023, his life changed in a big way. The 14-page federal indictment included troubling claims of abuse such as planning freak-offs and elaborate, exploitative sex parties where women were allegedly drugged and forced to perform sexual acts. The indictment says that Diddy not only planned these parties but also taped them without the victim's permission. He is accused of a lot of different crimes, from kidnapping and forced work to trafficking and taking money in exchange for goods. Even though the charges against Diddy are very serious, he has pleaded not guilty. He has been held at MDC Brooklyn, a prison that is known for having bad conditions, being overcrowded, and being violent. They told him they had checked him into the system, and he felt like an overnight guest. Now he knows what's real. I also know that he sees a psychiatrist several times a day in his cell. Now, there's talk of putting him in a bubble. People are watching you through a plastic wall that makes it feel like you're in a cell. Indeed, it is their duty to keep an eye on the prisoners who are on suicide watch. There is also a mistake Warren told me that there are prisoners who have been jailed there. They are known as cadre prisoners. They don't have to be white-collar criminals, but they are taking care of the house. What's the matter? They have housing units where bank robbers, drug sellers, and rapists live with people with proper jobs, which is why there is a lot of violence there. The Metropolitan Detention Center has had famous people locked up before. People who have been convicted, like R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell, have been there, and Diddy is now living in the same protective unit as Sam Bankman-Fried, the shamed cryptocurrency mogul who was found guilty of fraud serve to famous people or people who need extra safety is meant to provide higher security and stop problems involving other inmates. Even though Diddy is in this protective unit, he still has to deal with the problems that come with being in jail. Apparently he is having a tough time getting used to things, especially the food, which is famously bad. People often say that prison food is bland, undercooked or overcooked, and doesn't have any taste or nutrition. Who was used to having private cooks make fancy meals for them? This change has been especially hard. People are being very gentle with him while his lawyer has said he's not depressed see suicide watch. In other words, he's in the hospital unit getting extra care. Now, was he hungry? We, oui, we, oui. it looks like he's missing his personal cook. When you can't bring your private chef or famous chef with you to the Metro Detention Center, that's the worst thing that can happen. That has to hurt. We are also hearing though, because he is so self-centered he believes he might be poisoned in jail. There have been recent claims that Diddy has stopped eating while he is in jail either because he can't stand the food or even scarier because he thinks it might be poisoned. People who are arrested and put in a prison setting where they don't have much control often become paranoid in this way. When someone used to have full control over their meals and lifestyle, losing that power all of a sudden can be very hard. Even though there has been no real report of poisoning, it is easy to see to see why people are afraid because his case is so important. There is a qualified cook in the kitchen but there aren't enough of them to watch over all the prisoners. As you might guess, there were 2,300 prisoners in this building. They need to be fed three times every day. That means they have a lot of food cooking back there. They're not getting enough skilled help while they do it. The food isn't very good. Man, there's no love in the food. You're not going to taste the food. It's not like the food your grandmother used to make. It doesn't taste like the food your mom makes. The food is awful. 
don't go to jail. His lawyers are worried about his safety, both in terms of the physical risk he faces from other prisoners and the mental health effects these conditions are having on him. Even though these things are worrying, jail officials have not said anything to suggest that Diddy is getting special treatment when it comes to his food or housing. I don't believe I have the right words to fully express how huge it is. Me, 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 his real fear is that someone will risk their job to kill him so that no one will ever know. Do you really think that when they do the exam they won't find poison in his body? Is he crazy? Nancy, it's clear that he's crazy. It's pretty common for guys to be sociopathic, Nancy. I don't know Sean Puppy Combs personally, but the traits I'm noticing are very sociopathic. For them to feel weak and important, like they can get away with anything until they get caught, when they get caught, when they get caught, they do become very scared. They seem to have a strange mental breakdown and start to believe that everyone is against them, which is true. They're going to have trouble. There are people who are against them, but not in the way that the food will be contaminated. Diddy is also having trouble with the food in jail, and he has been put on suicide watch, which is common for high profile prisoners who are going through a big change in their lives. Diddy's lawyer has said that he is not suicidal, but putting him on suicide watch lets the jail keep a close eye on him and stop any problems that might happen. This choice is also based on the prison's well-known cases, like Jeffrey Epstein's where mistakes and carelessness led to bad results. Diddy has to go through daily check-ins because he is on suicide watch. By mental health professionals and guards, which he probably finds intrusive but is essential in this case. The staff at the prison wants to make sure that famous inmates like Diddy stay safe, since his case is getting so much attention from the public. Who has always been in charge of, his go find out where he is. Think about going from a 14,000 square foot mansion in one city to a 17,000 square foot mansion in another city, and now being in a 6 by 8 foot sale 23 hours a day for the foreseeable future. That will wear a person down mentally. But I'm sure he's feeling a lot of different emotions because he wants to control his environment, what he eats, when he sleeps, and who he talks to. And because this is such a public case, we would want to place him in a special place to live or somewhere where they can. You know, keep an eye on how he acts. Diddy's lawyers, led by well-known defense lawyer Mark Agnifilo, are working hard to get his case ready, but they have a lot of problems to solve. The charges against Diddy are very serious, and the court has turned down his bail twice, saying they are worried about public safety and the chance that he will run away, even though they offered a $50 million bail package with strict terms like GPS monitoring and limits on visitors. The judge said it was too risky to let Diddy out on bail. It's possible that Diddy's lawyer was the only one who agreed to take the case. It seems like he only looked at the case. When the federal government gave him the facts, he thought, dude, I'm going to lose this, but I'm going to make a lot of money. He might only be there for the bag and he's just going to ride the roller coaster down. And stuff his pockets full of Sean Diddy's cash before the government takes it away because it's money from crime. That could be what's going on. And this lawyer is a real hero, intentionally putting the case on hold so that a bad man gets to live. Who knows? His name is Mr. Combs, and I think he came out. He's going to keep fighting until the end. He's not guilty. This guy, Mr. Combs, fights. What do you know? I finally agree with this lawyer. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs will stay in jail after a fight this morning. He is facing charges of sex trafficking and racketeering conspiracy. Once more, a second judge in charge of his federal criminal case rejected his bond. The fight goes on. We're not at all going to give up. Outside of the courts in New York City, his lawyer was rude. He thinks he's not guilty. I think he's not guilty. We're going to fight this case hard until we don't have to. The judge agreed with the prosecutors that Combs' bail package was not enough. The judge said that Combs was a threat to society and that there was no condition that would guarantee that the rapper would not get in the way of justice. Magnifilo has also said that the conditions at MDC are unsafe and cruel, which is another cause for worry. His team has asked for Diddy to be moved to a different prison, but the Federal Bureau of Prisons has the final say. For now, Diddy is still at MDC, where the harsh realities of jail life have replaced his once luxurious way of life. Fetish parties called freak-offs are at the heart of Diddy's charges. These are where women were reportedly drugged, forced, and recorded without their permission. There have been several civil cases filed in addition to the federal indictment over these disturbing claims, which include reports of physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. Cassandra Ventura, better known as Cassie, was the first person to sue Diddy in civil court, saying that he abused her for years while they were together. Her case was settled the very next day. On Thursday, RB singer Cassie sued Sean Diddy Combs, saying that they had been together for years and that he beat her and raped her. In the claim, Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, 
said that Combs brought her into his fast-paced and drug-filled lifestyle soon after they met, and she signed with his label when she was 19 and he was 37. The claims against Combs were rejected by his lawyer. Ventura said she is ready to tell her story now that she has been quiet and alone for years. Eleven more civil cases have been filed since Cassie's, all with similar claims of abuse, drugging, and recording without permission. In early 2024, federal agents raided Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami and took what they thought was important proof, such as drugs, guns, and video footage. Reports say that the video includes recordings of the claimed abuse, which could be very important in the trial. I think Barack Obama got a tape. He was playing hide and seek, though. I know that Jennifer Lopez has more than one tape. Yes, of course. She got a tape, I know that. I know for sure that they used old Stevie J and Eve stuff again. I understand. I know that Chris Brown is on one of those tapes and that Drake got one, too. I know Trey Songs has played a supporting role in a lot of weird movies, most notably Ushers. The leaders and royals on that tape are what I think would shock people. I'm still trying to figure it out. When Harry and Meghan are ready to be honest about their weird off-camera moment, the royal family has done it many times before. At the Diddy party, the lawyers for Diddy have said that he is ready to fight the charges and clear his name, stating that the contacts were voluntary. But the huge amount of proof against him, especially the digital recordings that the police took, makes it very hard for his defense. The public is paying close attention to Diddy's case as it goes through the courts. Many people who used to work with Diddy have cut ties with him because of the accusations. He used to be a big name in the music business. People are talking a lot about the case on social media, and Diddy's image, which used to be based on his success and power, has been badly damaged. What is Diddy really being charged with? They got back surveillance movies, cell phones, computers, other electronics, guns, baby oil, and all of this other stuff. Oh my god, you're ready for baby organ to stop and go back, but geez, yes. Most importantly, people should remember that the government is looking at all of this surveillance tape as part of their investigation. During that time, they have seen a lot. When other people talk, you should shut up. The government knows things you don't. You're not sure if those movies show you or not. You don't know if you are involved in these crimes. Quiet down. There are a lot of people talking about what they saw at the party on the internet. I wonder if they work for him, taking part as witnesses. Oh, this kind of case is very important to the court of public opinion, especially when a famous person like Diddy is involved. His lawyers have to not only get ready for court, but also handle the story outside of court. It's going to be hard for Diddy's lawyers to come up with a defense plan that takes into account both the legal and public aspects of the case. And Sean Diddy Combs' children are coming out for the first time since the music mogul was arrested. Four of his seven children wrote on Instagram that they want to clear up rumors that their mother is having an affair. At the same time, a new accused is coming forward. The most recent news comes from senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky. When Sean Diddy Combs' kids spoke out, it was the first time since their dad was arrested last week. There have been a lot of hurtful and false stories going around about Kim Porter and Sean Combs' relationship and about our mom's death. So four of Combs' seven children wrote on Instagram, we feel the need to speak out. There is no truth to the claim that our mom wrote a book. Anyone who says they have a draft is lying if they say they have one. Porter died in 2018 at the age of 47. Earlier this month, a 60-page book that hasn't been checked out claimed to be a collection of his notes. In the statement, the kids don't say anything about their dad being arrested. Instead, they say our mom should be remembered for the beautiful, strong, kind, and loving woman she was horror stories about a plot should not cloud her memory. Diddy's legal fight isn't over yet, and it's not clear what will happen next. His once famous life seems like a distant memory now that he is facing such serious charges and is being closely watched by the public. The trial is likely to last a long time, and as investigators continue their work, they may find even more damaging proof. For now, Diddy is still locked up at MDC, where the hard conditions are very different from the life he used to live. We still don't know if he will be able to mount a good defense and clear his name, but he is up against huge obstacles, and the outcome of his trial will definitely have long-lasting effects on his future. Here is a list of all the crimes Diddy did and how much time he will spend in prison for each one. A racketeering plot could get you up to 20 years in jail. S. Trafficking must get at least 15 years in prison and no more than life. Getting to a gay bar and S work up to 20 years in jail. Taken hostage could get you life in jail. Getting in the way of the law can get you up to 10 years in prison. If bro was found guilty of all charges, he could spend many years in jail. Tell us what you think in the comments. That's all there is to it now. Click the bell button to get more news.